Hey guys, Raul, Rainbow Family Farm. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm here on the farm today and uh, came by to feed the horses and started changing the, uh, the blades on my brush cutter. I've got a Land Pride RCR 1872. Um, I've already done one of them and <clears throat> it really needed it. So this is what it looks like. This is the one on the bottom is the new and the one on top is the one that's been on there for about probably 100 hours. Um, it definitely needed it. Um, I'm not sure if uh, most of y'all know I'm an elevator mechanic, but I don't have the big tools uh that's required to do this so i went ahead and bought some um i bought a a set at harbor freight uh real inexpensive uh about 70 dollars plus tax 75. it's a 20 piece jumbo socket set it goes up to uh two inches uh this is what it looks like it's got a ratchet let me show you guys it's got a ratchet and a bunch of sockets, extension, and this is it right here. Yep. So I'm gonna go under here and show you what I've got to do. I'll show you guys down here. I've got a jack holding up the uh, brush cutter just in case. Uh, the uh, three point hitch decides to lose pressure. Uh, but I'm gonna get down here because I dropped one of the sockets and while I'm down here I'll go ahead and show you uh, That's the one I changed right here See it coming so this is the one I've got left to do um, The bottom doesn't have any bolt head or anything. It's it's pretty much round you, you work on it from the top I'll show you right now Let me get this socket. I dropped and it takes a uh, an inch and 11 16 socket to do this this model all right so what you do what you do see that hole up there you line up this bolt okay with that hole as close as you can to it And it doesn't want to play nice. It's probably be nicer to have somebody else with me. But let's see. Maybe I can balance it right there. All right. Okay, let me show you what the nut looks like. See it right there? That's it right there. All right, it's got a washer and a nut on the huge bolt. If I want to put it right here, the camera, I'm gonna set it up right here on Old Faithful and uh, you'll watch me change it real quick. On the other one, I couldn't break it by hand. It was way too hard, okay? I just went ahead and sprayed a little lube on it. I tried and I'll try it again, but I don't think I'm that strong. So I got a uh, probably a two by two uh, piece of angle iron or a square tubing, uh, and I just use it as a as more leverage. Come here. Once it loosens it up, that loosened it up, that loosened it up right there. Let's see. 
try it from the other side. Yep, I got her loose. So I got the other one tight, but I gotta crank them both when I'm done because I lost the uh, socket. I was gonna change over to the breaker bar. The socket, well, the, the socket set that I bought at Harbor Freight had an inch and five eighths, an inch and three quarter. Uh, the actual size for this is an inch and 11 sixteenths. And, uh, yeah, phone's getting wet. And I, I got it at Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, it was about $15 for it. Uh, and the brand on it was a TEQ. I actually bought a breaker bar, a ratchet, one socket, and an extension for $130 at Advance. It was uh, not in a box. I went with the, uh, with the Harbor Freight because I got a, a box to put it in uh, and I got a lot more sockets and working with tractors, I'm sure you're gonna need all type of big sockets. So um, I'm gonna return the other ratchet and, and uh, the ratchet and the breaker bar I got from Advanced. Um, and I'm just gonna keep the socket that I used, so. I'm gonna swap it out from the breaker bar to the ratchet. I'm gonna come down here. All right, let's see if I can give you a decent view. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can put you right over here. So what I'm gonna do is take off the nut right here. the nuts off all right got the washer right there all right so I'm gonna put this down so I can grab let's see if that'll work let's see if I can grab this right here Just fell right out. All right, it won't come out. So I'm gonna get a hammer, see if I can't knock it out.
what I'm going to do, I'm going to install this one while I'm down there. Okay? I'm going to install this one. All right, when you have it flat, you want this sharp edge, this leading edge, you want it facing as low as possible. So if I had it like this, okay, if I had it laying flat like this, the leading edge is up top. That's incorrect. You want the leading edge, okay, as close to the bottom as possible. It's got a lip, so when it cuts, the blade of grass is going to go up, okay? number two bottom okay on the side of that bolt you've got a little like a little shoulder okay and uh, I don't know what you'd call it if anybody knows what it's called uh, it's like a little spine uh, that it, a groove that it goes into so the bolt doesn't turn tight and I'm gonna put the breaker back back on it Let me get turning around, go to the other side. We're good to go.
I'm back in business guys I'm not sure if a little too warm for me to sharpen or not I'm not sure I'll find out from a buddy of mine um, but uh, otherwise I'm gonna get another set and have them a spare you know in case I break one or or uh, at least you know uh, I can sharpen them in between get some more life out of them so uh, that's it guys I appreciate you guys watching if you hadn't already uh, please like subscribe and comment on our channel it really helps us a lot we appreciate your help with the page um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.